honey. Please don't change your mind. We've come this far, please. Honestly, my dear, I really don't think we should be doing this. I believe God can still give us our own children. I believe so too. But you know how much pressure your mother has been mounting on you lately to take a second wife? I believe this will help to assuage her while we still wait for God to give us our own child. Please, honey. Do this for me, please. Sorry. Let's go. I must say, sir, people like you who come to adopt these children give us encouragement in the job we are doing. We believe every child deserves a good home and proper upbringing, regardless of his or her circumstance. Uh, madam, actually, this is the eighth year of childlessness. My wife and I long for the day of a child in our home. <laughs> You've made the right choice. Yes. Okay, Miss a bright and promising child with lots of prospects. Okay. Uh, my dear, you heard what uh, the matron said that our daughter is uh, beautiful and brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so you can say yes. What sort of charms did Ugoma give to you that makes you to follow her like a stray dog? How can you allow a strange child into our family when you can make your own child? Mama, please, leave my wife out of this. The decision to adopt in game is not entirely hers. How can my son borrow another man's son when he has a wife? To fear, Amuma village must not hear this. Mama, Ugoma and I have tried our best. For God's sake, there's nothing wrong in adopting a child. There is something wrong in adopting a child. The blood of Oji does not run in our veins. How could you allow your ancestors' bloodline clot in your own vein? Mama, you talk as if this is the end of the world. God can still give us our own children. That I believe. If you had listened to me long ago, Chike, Ugoma wouldn't have dragged you into this shame. Return this child and get another wife. Mama, please, I say leave my wife out of this. 
I am not getting another wife. Period. If God wants to give us our own children, God will give us our children. Hmm. Anyway, my son, if you like to waste your money on other people's children, to train them, you may do that. All I want is my own grandchild. I need a grandchild. Let me get something upstairs. I knew you were going to be a brilliant girl right from the day you uh, yes the day you were born <laughs> <laughs> yes i even promised one extra chicken during lunch good 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 <laughs> so baby go in there drop your bag change your dress while mommy goes into the kitchen to fulfill her promise <laughs> uh also fulfill my own promise so it's my pocket ah, don't worry <laughs> Have the head and the legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, man. Oh, that was a beautiful story. <laughs> uh, before I forget, please make sure you get the plumber to repair the damaged pipe in the washboard. Okay? Yeah, I've already called you. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So I'll have to. <laughs> what is it? Hold it. I don't know. 
I've been vomiting for some days now. Uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay now. What do we call this now? Uh, uh, honey, are you, are you sure you have not taken any? That must be the joke of the century. Well, I have done some tests though. I see. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, listen, listen. Have you collected the test? And is this the same old story? I don't know. What is the need collecting it? I have more than 40 pregnancy test results in this house. Oh, uh, I know, I know. But <laughs> I still feel that you should go back and check. You never can see. Yes. Uh, first, let me say, just come, hold, hold it, let's go inside. Let's go inside. You don't need that one anymore. And uh, what do you need? Pineapple. No, no toilet. <laughs> <laughs> that one is food now. <laughs> you would have killed me with food. <laughs> Who would have this big tummy and start looking for food? <laughs> Why is it drop now? Where are my drugs? Go and bring the red one. Mommy, they asked me to check it. You should have checked now. I need to tell you to check before you check. And you knew what I wanted was the drug. Eh? Where is the bag? Is it not the drug that I want? Ah! What sort of a girl is this? Oh, cool. Take it easy with her. Eh? I know that pregnancy at this stage can easily get too irritated. In fact, during Junior's pregnancy, AB nearly abandoned the hell for me. Uh, I know what you're going to Take it easy. She didn't pregnant you. Lizzie, <laughs> you won't understand. You don't, you don't know that girl. That girl has problem. I am sure she's an Obanji. God forbid. Yeah. Oh, go ma. Ah. Oh, go ma. How can you say such a thing? Look, oh, you're carrying, you're carrying baby or babies. Please don't say such a thing again. I said, leave this girl alone now. Eh? When Chike was back by hammering you, she wasn't there. Eh? <laughs> Uh -huh. This is what I want. Mm -hmm. I want the drugs, not the bag. Mm -hmm. If you like, bring the red or white, black bag. For it. Take, if you like, keep it. If you like, leave it there. I'm taking what I want. Okay, no, Jerry, don't mind your mother. That girl is different. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should start speaking. Are you a pastor? Yeah. I can't afford to be a pastor. Hey, hey, hey. Now, from this moment. <laughs> It's not the old type of pass I want. Yeah. You don't know I can do it better than yeah, this. Don't do it for me. Don't, have, don't even try. <laughs> oh. oh God. Small tablets. Small tablets. Just quickly, please. Tablet is not. Please, 
this. You have to take it easy with this girl. I'm sure she overworked herself. You are the one encouraging her laziness. I'm even beginning to wonder what to do with her now that I'm pregnant. What? What is that supposed to mean? No. It's not a child I'm carrying. Maybe we should just send her back to the orphanage. What has come over you, grandma? What is her problem? You know we are the only parents the girl knows. Get it straight. Nkem is our first child. Hmm. First child indeed. I'm even beginning to think that we made a mistake adopting her. We did? Yes. No, my dear. We did not make any mistake. Kemi is a good girl who has brought so much blessings to us. Please, stop harassing her unnecessarily. You initiated the adoption in the first instance, didn't you? Anyway, I'm sorry. There is no need for that. I was just being anxious about our forthcoming baby. See, my dear, we have to love and take care of Nkemi. The way she loves us and respects us. Promise? Yeah, that's a promise. Good. She has to be a good girl. I know, I know. Uh, Mkem? Mkem? Yes, Dad. Uh, come, come. Mm. Uh, have you eaten? Yes, Dad. Good. That's fine. That's very good. Come and tell me what you learned is good thing. Let me go upstairs, though. Okay, What did they teach you in school today? They taught us how to be good at home. That's good. That's a very good topic. I hope they taught you good table manners. Yes. Telephone etiquette. Yes. That's good. My baby is learning so much in school now. Very soon I'm going to have another baby for you. Would you like to carry your baby? Yes. <laughs> okay, now. No, not to eat first. You want to eat first? If you don't carry these things, I won't give you food. I'll tell mommy if you don't give me food. Ah, Chidi, don't disrespect your elder sister. Don't mind her. I will soon beat some sense into that. Come and beat me now. What did you say? Say it again. Come and beat me. Come. Look at it. Come. My friend, stand up. Carry this. Carry this bag. No way. Look at this boy. Are you joking with me? I know what I'll do to you. If I come back and meet this shoe and bag here, you won't eat anything today. Say you're hungry. Don't worry, I'll give you food. Rubbish. You're very stupid. Let's go to Let me come down and still see that, 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 that band there. Idiot. I'll be going straight to the university after my school. Really? Mm. You came, you are lucky. I'm you... very lucky to have rich parents. My parents are not rich. They're just okay. But they're willing to train you to any level. My brother said I'll stop school after this time. Because he doesn't have money to continue sponsoring me. Why? I'm sure it's my brother's wife's idea. She dictates everything that happens in that house. Okay. You don't know what I'm going through in that house. If only my parents were still alive. If he could stop crying, okay? So um, what will you be doing after after your school? My brother said that I'll be learning hairdressing. And when I'm through, he'll look for money and open salon for me. Salon? See, don't worry, Fi. Okay? See, I'll be coming to visit you each time I come back from campus. Okay? Don't worry. It's not the end of the world. Maybe 
I still defer your admission. Now when will I now go to school? Oh, now? it is still time. Difference between singular and plural. Singular is when you don't add s, and plural is when you add s. Very good, Chidi. What is the plural for that is your house? These are your houses. Thank you. Are you? This is my ship. It's your boat. Is it true? Okay. Yes, sir. Not too hard. Anything to bring the house. I just finished my chores. Go to the kitchen. Bring out all the things. From the fridge and clean the fridge thoroughly. Okay, I'll, I'll do it later. As I was saying, when you're doing your homework, you tablet. Are you deaf? Mommy, I said I'll do it later. Besides, I cleaned that fridge only yesterday. You want me to go and clean it again today? Come on, get up from there. I break your bones. Why are you shouting now? You don't blame you, lazy girl. I'm people helping the trees to do their homework. You're calling me lazy, and I've been working since. I came back from school. God help you if you don't clean that feet well. This is Look fantastic. at the results. Did you see I had English? Yes, yes. 900, uh, hard math 95. Oh, this is the third time I'm taking first position. That's my daughter. <laughs> I know you will not disappoint yeah, me. Yeah, I'm so happy. Look I'm very really proud of you. This is the third time. Don't worry, I'm that is going to. Ah, oh, my money. Come, 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 come. This is my result. This is my result. This is my result. This is my result. First, I came first. Look at my results. Let me look. See. Let me read what they wrote. I said. <laughs> She's a very hard working girl. I'm um, yes. the best student in my class. Yes. Very good. Promoted to S S3. <laughs> See, honey. Our daughter is doing very well. <laughs> Quite good. Yeah. At least, have you prepared food for my children? Mama, I just came back home. See my handbag now, and I'm not dropped my school bag. Then go in and drop your bag. Prepare food for us to eat. I mean, I'll cook now. Granny has promised to buy me restaurant. So what will you give me? I, I, I want um, I want chicken and ice cream. Just sharpen your teeth very well. Clear your mouth to eat the chicken and lick the ice cream. Go and prepare food for us to eat. Oh, mommy, talk about my... I'll cook now. Wait, go now. Go, 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 go. It's not only book. You should also learn how to keep a home. <laughs> Darling. That's not the best way to encourage a girl who has done so well in her studies. She's the first person to pass her exams. But she needs our encouragement. Yes. Encourage her also to keep a home. Ugoma. Chicken. You can see I just came in. I'm tired. I need some rest. Hmm? She needs our encouragement, yes. If I'm going, I'm eating. You're eating. Mm -hmm. Did I not tell you that this good bridge belongs to Chidia Choma? I just took a little out of it. You took a little, and the things are almost empty. What did you say? I said, is the only two man that I've been drinking to in this house? What of me? I don't blame you. I blame myself for giving you so much room in this house. 
Touch these beverages next time and I'll tell you who to drink it and who not to drink it. Touch them again. You never had the guts to fry it and, and put sardine. Touch them again. What kind of thing is this? Oh, why, why, why won't you allow me to eat? In short, I'm not eating again. No. Come and carry your food. I'm not eating again. You're complaining. Ada? Yes, Daddy. Oh, there you are. Ah, uh, yes, I'm leaving. Uh, you don't look happy, Kim. Daddy is mommy. She's always treating me like I'm asleep in this house. Um, what happened? I, I was having my breakfast and she came and started abusing me. Uh, okay. Are you sure you didn't offend your mother? Dad, I didn't do anything to her. Ask her now. I didn't do anything. I, I, ask her. I see. Uh, darling, you heard what our daughter said. I am sure your mother must have been in a bad mood. I assure you it won't happen again, okay? Come yeah, on. I'm very hungry. But you didn't let me finish my food. Uh, it's okay. Just go and continue with your food. <laughs> Nani, me, I'm not eating that food again, no. Um, she was abusing me because I was eating. I won't eat. Let her eat it. It's all right. Now, go to my bedroom. I have a big packet of biscuit there. I bought it from supermarket yesterday. Just go and eat it. Or let the choose. Just enjoy yourself. I will get more things for you when I'm going to start. All right. Have a nice day. Sure, that's my daughter. Bye. Okay. Yeah, welcome to my home again, my friends. Yeah. It's so hot outside. It's so cool. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh, oh. You want to see this side so that you try to tell me. No, I'm okay. You sure? Yes, I'm okay. okay. Hey. I nearly forgot. Mm -hmm. The other day I was coming to your house. Mm -hmm. I met that your neighbor outside. Mm -hmm. When she saw me, she just threw away her face. That ugly face. I mean, why, why are you even expecting that fool to greet you? What's wrong with that? How that do I know for her? Eh? What will you gain from her greeting? Nothing, oh my dear. Let's talk about better thing, Jerry. Uh -huh. My husband bought this beautiful French wine and I have been chilling it since last night. Hey. Just for this moment. Go on, so let's test it and see what it tastes like. It's cool. <laughs> Bring it, you know, let's test it. Agatha! 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 Why didn't you answer me? Madam, but I'm here now. Yes, I see your ugly face. Come on, go and get a bottle of wine I kept in the fridge last night. The wine broke this morning when I was cleaning the fridge. What? And you are talking to me like that? Is that why you're eating? Come on, shut up. Please sell it Come on, come on. Hey. Oh, come on. Honestly speaking, if not that this girl is my husband's niece, I would have kicked her out of this house this afternoon, this moment. Maybe that's why she's insulting you. Do I blame her? Just look at the way she opened that her useless mouth to say. Oh, you didn't? Did you watch her? Hey. Oh, hey. Hey. Listen, you, are... you must do something about that girl. Trust me. Now. That is exactly you. the same problem I'm having with you came in the house. Ah, exactly the same problem. I know you deal with her. After all, she's not your daughter. Of course I can. But that one has a limit. Why? My husband will kill me if I throw her out. Why? Why would he kill you? Eh, he still shows her fatherly love. Fatherly love indeed, Ugoma. Ugoma, have you forgotten that this girl is not your biological daughter? Open your eyes, oh. Ugoma, open your eyes before this girl kills your beautiful twin for you. Hey, this is your right, oh. Hey, but I'm dead now. She can't do that with my. She can't try that with my children. Have you forgotten how? Long I begged God to give me the children. 
I know now, I know. I know she, she cannot try it with my children. No. Anyway, since there's no wine, let it's me go. My friend, I'm sorry. <laughs> Drink something else now. No, no, don't worry. Huh? Why not now? No. Yeah, I even have a fried snail in the fridge. Uh, okay, keep them there till tomorrow. When mm. I come, I'll take it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine your mommy? Are you mad? How dare you? How dare you hit my son with that stick? I did not even hit him. Shut up! You did not hit him. Why is he crying? Mommy, you don't even want to know what he did. Go, go upstairs and look at the living room. He just messed up the whole place. I just finished. Speaking. Shut up, you brat! Shut up! I should go to the sitting room and do what? Where were you when he scattered whatever? Where, where were you? Eh? Mommy, stop attacking me. Can't I correct No, you can't. Why? Because they are not your younger ones. What do you mean by that? They are neither of the same mother nor of the same father with you. What kind of joke is this now? I mean every bit of it. I am not your mother and my husband is not your father. Is that not what you want to hear? Now you have heard it. So don't let me see you lay your filthy hands on my children again. I hope you heard me. Now get out! Go! Okay. Come on, let's do this for now. Let's take the whole place for Come, come! Let me see you step your, your hands on them again. Step whatever you want to do. This is what you want to do. Why are you crying? Daddy, who, who are my parents? Um, how, how do you mean? Daddy, mommy just told me that you're not my parents. Daddy, who are my parents? Who are but, my parents? Um, how could your mother say such a thing? Hmm? How could she say such a thing? See, we gave back to you. You are our first child. And maybe your mother was just pulling your legs. Daddy, that's not true. That's not true. If I were your daughter, mommy wouldn't treat me with so much hatred and wickedness. See, Adam. Hmm? Hmm? See, I want you to wipe it, yes. Hmm? You are the only Ada in this house and nobody's going to change it. I'm your father, okay? Hmm? My parents. Come, come, wipe your tears. See, I want you to go and do something for daddy now. Hmm? Get up, get up. Hey, come and do something for daddy. Yeah? Get up, do something. So, okay, stop crying. Why did you do that to come? How could you be so wicked? Very cold. Slap you the more if you don't shut your wicked mouth. Do you realize the emotional stress you could have caused that girl by your careless statement? You want to destroy the peace and happiness we have enjoyed in this family? I will always speak the truth. No matter what. We are not her parents. And the earlier we let her know that the better for all of us. Listen, 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 man, listen. If this slip of tongue repeats itself, I will take drastic action against you. We are the only parents that we can lose. And it must remain so. Exactly. You are me. I will hurt you. I will hurt you. Demon. If you don't retract your statement, we are going back to reassure her that you are joking. Is that clear? Is that clear? 
Yes, leave me! Leave me! You hurt me because of a mere adopted orphan! Only God knows what I would do to her! Okay? Okay? She can be your daughter for all I care, not mine! I can no longer tolerate her Jesus in this house! Okay? Come back, come back, come back, my dear, come back, come back. Please, please, now, please. Oh, come, 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 my dear, come. Please. See, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. See, I didn't want you to find out this way. Okay? Daddy, you lied to me. You lied to me, Daddy, you lied like to you. me. Please, I just wanted to protect you from the emotional stress. Please. Uh, yes. It's true you were adopted from the orphanage. But that doesn't make you less our daughter. Daddy, I, lo I love you. She's not my mother, Daddy. I'm where sure, is my mother? I'm sure your mother will tell you. Daddy, where is my mother? I want to see my mother. It's okay. It's okay. Come. Come. It's okay. 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 Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Let's go. Let's go. I'm here. I'm here. Doctor, she's been like this for the past three days. She refused to eat or even talk to anyone. Well, she would be all right. But um, whatever has put her in this state of depression must have to be avoided or at all costs. Uh, you are right, Doctor. You are very correct. The past week has not been easy for her. The pressure has been so much that my daughter refused to go to school. Something unheard of. It's okay, Mr. Chica. I'm sure by tomorrow she will be much better. Uh, please, do your best for me. <laughs> we always do. Thank you, Mr. Chica. Finally engaged. Mm -hmm. Oh God, this calls for celebration, you know. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> While you ladies are busy celebrating, please be very careful before you drift into bondage. What concerns marriage and bondage? A lot. As far as I'm concerned, having a man shout and throw orders at you, it's nothing but bondage. I love my freedom, you know. <laughs> my dear sister. I have told you time without number that this attitude of yours will not help you in the long run. Carol, accept my candid advice for once. I mean, I'm only trying to advise her for a brighter and better future. <laughs> I'm getting married to Chris because I love him. And he cares very much about me. Oh, yeah. Mm? Who says I don't love Daniel? I love him, of course, but I wouldn't let that be cloud my sense of judgment, you know. As far as I'm concerned, it's not a... Um, compulsory a woman must get married maybe have one or two kids for some handsome guy mm. and then so that you could have beautiful children or mm. possibly go to a modeler's baby's home and pick one or two kids just for your legacy are you trying to tell me that you're not sure of getting married to daniel oh. everything is in god's hand heaven help those who help themselves yeah every one of us know that daniel really loves you yeah. hope you are not planning to use him and don't pay more. Think about using him See, as far as I'm concerned, mm. I'm happy that I work and I earn a salary. So I don't have to go running to him for every penny I have to spend. In that way, he doesn't see me as his footmat. He will mm. just respect me. 
<sighs> my dear, as my younger sister, I will tell you nothing but the gospel truth. Mm -hmm. Stop behaving like you're the women liberation president herself. Mm -hmm. It will not help you, you know. Carol, even if I am the women liberation president, does it really matter? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I think, do we really need these men? But we sure do need them, you know. Please, let's go get ready for your shopping. Anyway, Linda, mm. I'm very, very happy for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys should take care. See you oh. later. Smart, bye, bye bye. Yeah, bye. Hey, Foma, why is that hair taking you this long? Do you really know what you're doing? Yes. Thank you. Sam, good news. Our guys from Japan just called to say that our consignments will be arriving three months from today. That's fine. Right. You know, it will give us enough time for distribution. Yes, the problem is with allergy to the man. His distribution is... Worth... Darling, please, can we go for this lunch? I'm famished. Yes, darling, but just give me a moment, okay? I'm sorry. I cannot wait any moment longer. We had a plan to come here, buy some things, and then go for lunch. Do not let us derail for crying out loud. Let's... Let's just do the things we've planned to do. Yeah, honey, but you know my partner. You know he's Sam. I know your friend. Sam, good afternoon. Now, can we go? I'm done. I think you take the lady out for lunch. Just take her out for lunch. Let us go. about all these little things. Don't you have the dining table? It's all right now. Is that why you're shouting? What if my friends had walked in here with me? This is why I don't like coming here. You complain too much. Look, but you're the cause. What have I just done? I told you from day one, I like my things neat and tidy. Go ahead. Tell me that I'm a pig. No, Dan, go ahead. I'm dirty. Tell me. Look, all I'm saying is live up to your responsibility. What responsibility are we talking about? You men just make it look as if the woman is the only one that will clean up and tidy and do everything. Maureen will not be any slave for any man. Please, I am tired and I want to rest. What has this got to do with your tidy in this place? Can't you see how unkempt everywhere looks? That is exactly what I'm saying. There is no rule that states that it's only a woman that will tidy up the house. If you've come in and it does not go down well with you, then you help me put things together. For now, I am tired. I want to rest. Nobody's trying to enslave you or anything like that. All I'm saying is do the right thing. Do you understand that? Do the right thing. Okay, if you won't do it, I'll do it. Don't bother, don't touch that. I have my own house. Don't, don't bother, let me do it. It's okay, it's okay, don't bother. Look, you don't want to do it. It's women liberation, let me do it. It's women liberation, please. Let the man do all the slaves. No, 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 no. It's alright. I have my own house. I have my own house, so please. Eh? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not homeless. It's okay, just relax. Let me take care of it. It's alright, let's go. Just go back to your sleep. I thought you said it's women Please. What is this? What is the meaning of this? What are you doing with my daughter? Watching which movie? With who? Eh? How about I want you to stay away from her? Now go to your room. You, what are you doing with my daughter? 
I have warned you to leave my children alone. Leave them alone. Don't infect them with your laziness and stupidity. Now get out. Get out. Do you know that my husband beat me up for the first time since our marriage because of this stupid girl? That's what you told me, Gifford. And still, you've not done anything about it. What do you want me to do? When my husband protects the girl more than my children, what will I do? There's something I want to tell you about this year in game. What is it? She's the daughter of a mad woman. What? What are you talking about? Lower your voice now. Why are you shouting? Okay. Okay. Yes. Daughter of a mad woman. Okay, stop shouting now. Why are you shouting? You must be joking. No one jokes with madness. It's true. I know the fact. You see, my senior brother's wife worked with a kilo motherless baby's home. And she was among the people that picked and came up while she was crying, you know, beside the late mother. 20, 20 years ago, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. How is she sure that it is the same Nkem that was picked up 20 years ago? Get lower your voice now. Because she is still walking there even up to today. She was there when you and your husband picked the girl up. Yeah, she was in that place and she has special interest because of the mad mother. That's why she, she has this interest on Nkem. I'm finished. Uh -uh. Oh, are you finished? Hey! Take it easy now. I have brought madness into our family with our own hands. Okay, come on, man. Take it easy now. Uh -uh. Which kind of madness? For the fact that the mother was mad does not make the girl a mad girl. No! Uh -uh. Don't tell me that! Uh -uh. Madness is in the blood. It will just start anytime. You know, stop telling me you're afraid right now. And are you a coward? I'm afraid. I don't know you to be a coward. No, no, no. Sit down, sit down. You can't go now. No, I promise to prepare something for you. See, it's late. Because the mother is still alive. 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 Because the mother Please now, eh? Please don't leave me like I'm afraid. You know what is up? If you insist, we are going. I have to bring my children so that one of us will see you off. <laughs> <laughs> you can? Ah, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting for. Come and take my children to school. I mean, I can't find my school uniform. Uh huh. What do you want to do with your school uniform? So my children will not go to school because your wretched school uniform has started to run away from you. Eh? Take my children to school. I don't even know why my husband is wasting his hard-earned money sending you to school. Take my children to school. Take them to school. Guard them well. Eh? What is this girl's crime in this house? Why are you shouting at me as if I know what happened to her uniform? I know you very well. I know you. What did the poor girl do to deserve all this? She has not done anything except that she is the daughter of a mad woman. What? What nonsense is that? I mean every word I have spoken. Nkem was picked up when she was one year old by the side of her dead mad mother by council workers and taken to that orphanage where unfortunately we went and picked her up from. This is not nonsense. My friend Lizzie, her senior brother's wife was working at the orphanage when Kemu was brought there. Anyway, I don't see what difference that makes. That her mother was mad 
does not mean that she too will be mad. After all, your own mother was loving and caring, but you are just the exact opposite. Insult me! Go ahead and insult me because of one useless child of a crazy woman. Listen to me. You can think whatever you want to think. I cannot continue to stay in this same house with a girl with such blood. I will not, Chikezie. Chikezie, I will not! Chikezie, I will not! Yes, irrespective of whatever you think, she remains our daughter. She remains our daughter. Just get that straight into your head. Uh, Chief. Shioma, you told me you are going to have your test today. I'm sure you have all the materials, okay? Yes, Daddy. Good. I want you to concentrate and pass one. Good. Honey? Yes? You promised you were going to take this children to school today. What are you still waiting for? Yes, I'm taking them, but I'm waiting for Nkem. I want to make sure she goes to school today. Nkem? Nkem? Yes, Daddy. I'm fast, I'm late. Ah, that's my daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my God, you're looking good. Thank it's, you, Daddy. It's better than the last one. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Let's go. Kiss. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Ah, ah. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go. Your mommy. I have warned you not to call me mommy. What are you doing here? Mommy, I'm in school. I was having a test before they said you were looking for me. I hope there's no problem at all. There's a very big problem. So we have to enter the car. We are going home. Wait, I was writing a test now before the, the, you, you came to call me. I don't care what you are writing. I said enter the motor. We are going. Okay, let me carry my handbag down. Leave your school bag. A good Samaritan will pick it and bring it home for you. I don't know what you come to this place to do. You will have to go to school only when I want you to go to school. Your school uniform got missing. Instead of looking for it, you forced my husband to buy a new one for you, making me look like a thief. Mommy, I did not force daddy to buy me any school uniform. Who is your daddy? Anyway, he has traveled. Let me see who will come and pay you. Come on, enter the car, we are going home. Let us go to home. Let me go and get my bag now. Let's go. position in a class of 35? How? How? I am totally disappointed. Shut up. What excuse do you want to give now? Darling, I told you not to waste money sending her to school, but you wouldn't listen. All that money has now gone down the drain. I'm seeing it. Oh God, this is a hopeless situation. This is totally hopeless situation. Nkem, you have been a brilliant girl. What really happened? Daddy, I, I... I always go to school very late. And I have to drop um, Chidi and Joma in their school before I get to my own school. And most times I, I leave school before closing hours so that I can also pick them up. Liar. Black and liar. What time do you bring them back? What time? Just look at the report of one of your teachers says that you sleep in the class. Oh. Did I send you to school to go and sleep? Daddy, I don't sleep at night. I, 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 
For the past two weeks since you traveled, I, I go to bed by 2 a.m. or sometimes 3 a.m. And, and I have to wake up as early as 6 a.m. to clean the house and, and, and to cook food for the twins before I start going to school. What? Why are you staring at me like that? Of course you know she's lying. Go and ask her classmates. They even say she's not serious with her study. It's only playing and gossiping. Now you have failed the class. I'm sure my husband would not waste his hard earned money on you anymore. Um, go inside. And think of what next to you. Just go. not because of that stupid girl. You have not told me what game did to you. Anyway, I'm thinking that since she can no longer concentrate on her studies, she should start learning some trade. I disagree with you. I disagree. I think we better send her back to the motherless baby's home where she belongs. After all, they knew she was the daughter of a mad woman before they gave her to us. Wicked people. Ugoma, just mind what you say this night. Mind what you say this night. I can see that you hate him game for nothing. And you are prepared to frustrate her. But let me say this. I will not stand here and fold my arms and watch you ruin her life. She's our daughter and no one can change that. She is not my daughter. The day that girl will bite you, eh? I will not come to your aid. Who come again now? Me, I want to sleep. You better sleep because you are talking nonsense. Come down from the bed. Let me dress you better. And what is this now? Oh, don't I have other things to do? What? What is happening here? So you will still have not dressed this bed since morning. Mommy, I was just asking them to come down from the bed so I could dress it for them. But what? You were playing with them. That's why you've not dressed the bed. No, Mommy, she told us to leave the bed so that she can dress it. It is our fault. It's not my fault. Oh. So, Mommy, I was just... Hey, hey, hey. Stop calling me your mommy. Or do you want me to remind you who your mommy is? You don't have to remind me that nobody knows who my mother is. Wrong. Someone knows. Your mother is a dead, mad woman. No, mommy, she's our senior sister. Who is your senior sister? Will you come here before she starts biting you? Come. Did you just call me the daughter of a dead mad woman? Yes. Did I bend my mouth to say it? That's what you are. So don't call me mommy. See, don't go close to her. Her mother was mad. So her own madness may start and she will start biting you. Do you hear? I've never known any other parents but you people. But you made me realize that I'm, I'm just the male open I was picked from a dustbin. This is my offense. I did not quit myself. Neither did I kill my parents. Neither was that the reason for my mother's madness. But all this all, 
Never not be against me. I've been crucified and tortured for no offense of mine. Why did you leave me at the orphanage? Why did you have to bring me here to torture my spirit and my soul? Anyway. Okay. Please, I'm sorry for everything. See, we love you. You are still our daughter. Please. Where are you going to? Okay. Okay, come. Okay, okay. Hello, sweetie. Hello, sweetie. Hey, come on, talk to him, boy. Not a problem. About. Where is your handset? I don't have your handset! to die to meet you. 
Please reveal yourself to me, my God. Reveal yourself to me. I'm willing to die with you because I know you can take better care of me wherever you are. Oh, Mother. Mother, where are you? Oh, Mother. Mother, please come to me. Reveal yourself to me, oh, Mother, please.
Sorry for everything. Hmm? I promise you, I won't allow this to happen again. Okay? Hey, I, I can't come back to that house again. I can't. I don't have anywhere else to go to, but I, I wanna live on the streets. That feels that humiliation anymore. My dear, no, no. I understand how you feel, but I can't leave you here or anywhere. Yes, I can't leave you here. You are far from this. Let's go. Daddy, why does she hate me so much? Who am I? Was my mother really a bad woman? See, that is not necessary. That is not necessary. Yeah? See, and I, I don't really know where to start. I don't know where to start. Can you start from anywhere? Would just tell me the truth, please? Uh, it's okay, it's okay. All I know is that um, you were adopted from the orphans. Whether your mother was mad or not, I, I don't know. But, but then you should not bother yourself. It doesn't really mean, does it? Is that why she humiliates me so much? Daddy, I did not create myself. Oh, my daughter, that is the point. You do not create yourself. So, please, let us go home now. Say whatever you like and we will do it. It's a promise. Daddy, it will work. I know you love me, but I can't get back home. I can't. Yeah, you can. You can. Just follow me. I promise to be a better father than you. Okay? Just follow me. You know your father loves you so much. So daddy cannot stay without you, okay? Daddy, I, I, I can't stay at home. Let me, let me get a job. Maybe, Maybe I can be working with uh, my friend. I could be going to the salon with her. Oh, oh, oh. If that's what you want, consider it all. I will do that for you, whatever you say. Anything that you can, okay? You know daddy loves you so much. Let's go. Come on. How late you come to work every day and expect to learn something? No, ma, I, I'm, I'm sorry, ma. I had to do some housework, ma. See, your housework should have its own time and not interfere with your work here. Yes, ma. I'm sorry, ma. It will never happen again. It better not, because I won't hesitate to suspend you. By then, whoever is keeping you at home will learn to respect other people's time. Sorry, ma. It will never happen again. Go and prepare things for pedicure for me. What the hell are you talking about that? See, if I didn't come back this year, you had gotten married without my knowledge? No, of course not, Bruno. Look, I was going to call you. In fact, I was going to send you a picture for confirmation. You know you're the expert. That's my guy. So where is this angel of yours? I need to see her and confirm immediately. Fine, look, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call her and find out if she's at home or at her sister's place. No, no, don't call her. I don't know a beautiful woman, you take her by surprise. Why? So she wouldn't have time to make herself more attractive. 
Kasha Raw of God. Ah! You get my drift. Bruno. Bruno, Bruno. Look, you've been in Moscow for five good years and you've not changed. Yeah? <laughs> if I wear you in any way, we would have been better. <laughs> you know what? Um, listen, listen. She's my girl and I love her. Okay? Right? But if you want her, anyhow. No, no, don't bother. Let's use her. Excuse me. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, yeah uh, is Maureen around? Um, she came in in the morning, but I don't know if she's still around. Uh, could you help us check? Okay, I'll be I'll be back soon. Okay. Is that your fiance? Who? The girl that just left. Oh, come on, man, you must be joking. That's just a mere apprentice. Boy. That apprentice is beautiful. She only needs a little polishing, and she had been a queen. <laughs> okay, all right. You know what? You buy the polish <laughs> and do the polishing for yourself. Um, sorry, sir. She, she's not around. Okay, thank you. Go 
not be arrested. Your mother will finish the cooking. She cut her finger. Very deep cut. Mm -hmm. Let's go. You were just resting. Mother will help you. Eh? Go. Let's go. Ordinary finger. A woman. Who she cook again? Oh, grandma. Have you not noticed that this girl is now a full-blown woman? Go. Mm -hmm. This one. <laughs> If she lies, let her bloom like a boba tree. All I know is that she's nothing but a worthless house girl. Girlfriend, open your eyes. What? Ah. Hmm. My dear, I'm sure your husband is not a eunuch. Hmm. What are you talking about? My dear, this girl, there's no man with hot blood running in his vein that can resist the endowment of this girl. In fact, the way I saw this girl's closeness with your husband now, I very much doubt if this closeness is just ordinary. Please, don't talk like that. Okay. I know I may not like her. Hmm. My husband is not like that. Okay. He sees her purely as a daughter. Yeah. I am sure of that. Oh, girl. So I trusted my husband until the war happened last week. Listen. You know that this girl it's not your husband's biological daughter. Get that into your teeth, girl. Okay. Well, me, I'm going, you know, so that you won't say my mouth is running there. You won't even wait for my husband to no, come. No, it's getting late. I see, I see. I don't want you to go late to work again, okay? Um, have this. Okay. Hey. That is for your transport. <laughs> thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Daddy. Uh, don't be late. I will. That's my daughter. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. Good. All right. So, the pass. Oh, yes. Give me the an ordinary apprentice. Ugo. Give her money to go to work. Ugo, do I need to discuss with you before giving money for transport to my daughter? See, my dear, it's not proper for this girl to trek such a distance to the salon. Okay. I just hope it's ordinary. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. I only hope it's ordinary. Anyway, I'll see you later. Okay. Okay. Yes, so you now have the guts to collect money from my husband without telling me. Hmm? Can I have that money? Mom, it's, it's for my transport. Let me have it. We will see. I hope all this hugging and kissing, I hope they are for nothing. What? I hope it's ordinary. Because when I will start my own now,
What? What are you doing here? Um, Daddy asked me to dress the room. How many times have I warned you not to enter this room? So you now share my husband's bed with me? Mommy! I've told you not to call me that. You want me, me, and yet you sleep with my husband. Call me that. You want me, me, and yet you sleep with my husband. of nowadays you can't trust them I, I can't afford anyone snatching you away from me but how could you ever think that I did sleep with my own daughter a girl that calls me father see I will advise you to go in front of the mirror look at yourself very well and ask yourself many questions because you are getting worse than the woman you are mocking I'm just being careful. You know, Kemi is not really our child. And she's fully grown now. And you didn't even say anything about the thorough beating she gave me. Eh, okay. Just go to bed. I am sure when you wake up in the morning, you'll be able to think straight. Okay. Let's go in together. No, no. I'm very much all right here.
what is called um, Nkobi at home. <laughs> I can't wait to taste this. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't like it? Are you okay? Huh? Darling. Didn't you see a new girl in the market? Darling, look. Okay. Listen. You don't have to use Ogo all the time. This soup is best with spinach. Okay? You know that I don't like spinach. How come you wouldn't have just bought Ogo to make this soup very, very wonderful? You men are all the same. Very selfish, ever thinking of yourselves first before other people. Beg your pardon. <laughs> Listen, since the day I started dating you, all you've cooked in this house, I've had to manage if you must know. But I've never complained. Okay. So you are trying to tell me that my mother did not bring me up properly? No, go ahead and insult me. Tell me that my mother never taught me how to cook well. I abused my entire family. Look, what's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Can one ever win with you? I just spent hours preparing this. And what do I get? Look, I don't have time for this pressure for Christ's sake. I never begged you in the first place to prepare this food for me. You would have just left me to watch my beautiful movie than bring me to eat this thing that I'm sure that if I don't take my time will destroy my entire taste buds and my palate. Thanks to your sister. See, I know my sister can be difficult sometimes, but she means no harm. Just take it easy with her, okay? Please, um, I was hoping to find her here. Yeah, not far from here. Uh, Jane. Ma. Do you know my cousin's place at Aditola? Yes, ma. Please take Daniel there, okay? Okay. Madam, I don't want anyone else to handle my hair. Please, can you send someone else? <sighs> okay. Thank you. Um, Mkem? Yes, Auntie. You know my sister's place, don't you? Yes, I do. Please come and take Daniel there. And you? What are you sitting down there doing? Can't you go and finish that hair? Come on, get up and go and do it. See, if I'm you're taking too much for granted in this shop. Oh. Bring him here. It when you know that I'm avoiding him. It is Madame that said that she had the box in the front seat. My position? Maury, what kind of barbarism is this? Maury. Maury, I'm talking to you. I came to look for you. Maury. I hope you're not hurt. I'm sorry about this, okay? Okay, let me take you back to your shop, okay? Okay, come. Come and take, take the transport money.
Where's Carol? Um, no, she hasn't come to work yet. Really? Yeah, how are you? Uh, yeah, I'll get my tea. Look, I'd like to apologize for the inconvenience I caused you the other day. Um, it's okay, I... I put the incident behind me. Good. That's very good. Um... Well, thank you for all the inconvenience. Thank you very much, sir. But thank you. I, I, I don't need it, sir. Oh, go ahead, take it. This is for my heart. Um, it's not necessary, sir. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. But I, I don't need it. Thank you, sir. You can just go and take it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, tell Carol that I will. I drop by. Okay. Okay. All right. What is wrong with you? Ha! Why didn't you take it now? Why didn't you take the money? Yeah. Even why are you sounding like this now? Like you don't know? After all, you did not beg him. Eh? He just gave you, and you are refusing. And what will I tell my mother? Who will I tell her gave me money? How will your mother know you collected money? Did she give me money? Give her. I know how much Maureen loves you. She's only playing pranks. Honestly, I wish she would stop it. If only she would put her head down. I'm sure we can avoid most of most of the conflicts that we have. Yeah, I know. But don't let it bother you. I believe it's part of the understanding process in your relationship. Just take it easy, okay? Well, I... Just, you, you know now, you know what to do. You know, man. Eh? Um, I, I, I like to take my leave now. Ah. Yes. Okay. Just remember everything I said, okay? I'll still talk to her in the night. Okay. Hi. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Um, I'd like to talk with you. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but I'm running late, so I really have to go. Okay, good. I'll give you a ride. <laughs> no, thank you very much, sir, but I, I'd rather trek. Look, I, I honestly, I need to talk with you, and it's quite urgent. Sir, please, see, I, I don't want any more trouble. Sorry, sir, but I, I have to go now. Sorry, okay? Listen. This might sound funny, but I'm, I've been thinking about you a lot lately. I think I'm falling in love with you. Huh? Oh, Tap, please. He, he, no, no, you, you can't. I know it sounds somehow, but that's a fact. There's something about you I am willing to do anything to have. I know it sounds funny, but it's the truth. Sir, please, sir, don't love me. Okay. Don't, don't, don't love me. It, it's not just possible. I mean, I, I, I can't. Just open your heart to it. I know it will work. Listen, I'm, I'm very honest about what I'm telling you. I'm, I'm not here to play with you. Look, sir, just forget about me, please. It, it, it won't work. I'm going.
did you come here now? You want to put me into trouble. If my father comes and, and sees me standing here with you, you don't know that is trouble for me. Look, he doesn't like me having visitors. Not to talk of male visitors. Look, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to put you into trouble, but the fact is, just give me the right answer and I'll leave. The answer is no. No, just go. Please don't come back. Look, I'm not going to give up on you. Go. I I can't believe you are still naive at your age. How could you turn down such a nice, rich, handsome young man like Daniel? If I'm a, it is Auntie Maureen's fiance I'm talking about. Too. So, does Maureen appreciate the man? Hey, if he madam will kill me, Auntie Maureen will kill me. I have not even started talking about my own parents. <laughs> Look, I don't, I don't need that kind of stress. Please, swear that you don't like the guy. Uh -huh. Swear. Swear that you don't like the guy at all. Listen, Kem. Okay. If Daniel loves you like he claims, he can conveniently take you away from this place. Even from our Madame Thatcher. Yeah? And take you to a better place. Kem, okay, this is your chance. This is your chance. Grab it with both hands. Me, I've told you. I've told you. Prepare the herbs for you to drink. No need. Good. It gave me this drop today. For the meantime, he said if the symptoms uh, don't subside by next week, I should say to him. <coughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry, sorry. <coughs> God. What kind of strange sickness is this? The headache is so severe. At times, I feel as if they are using hammer to Shut up my my brain. It it runs through my nerves. <coughs> you see, I get confused. I am not articulated. I don't know. My friend, do your thing. Sister, can you imagine? For the last one week, Daniel has not come to see me. Neither has he called me on the phone. What kind of nonsense is that? Eh? And I was thinking that you are madam independent herself. So why is it bothering you? Sit down and wait for him to come running to see you. I know you will always side him. No, go ahead. 
If it, in fact, I'm not even doing the lady thing. If he thinks that because I'm a woman, eh, I should bow down and lick his foot, he has another thing coming. Because I will never, no man will reduce me to that level. I will never do that. What nonsense! My dear sister, if you just listen to my advice and stop deceiving yourself, just go and sort out your problems with Daniel. Because the way I'm seeing it, Daniel is slipping away from your hands. He can't slip off my fingers. Okay. He cannot slip. Daniel cannot leave me. Who get back to him? He can't. <laughs> hey, okay. I thought you would never call. So, 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 so you're feeling cool with yourself, eh? No, you're feeling cool with yourself. Look, I thought this call was for a truce. Can you imagine? You're making a fool of me on the phone. To hell with your arrogance, my friend. What's wrong with you? Maureen. Nonsense. Maureen. Maureen, you're taking this thing too far. What am I taking too far? What am I taking too far? Has he called me for the last one week? And I'm calling him and he's even, he's making a fool of me. Me, me, Maureen. I picked up my phone to call him with my own credit Maureen. and he's making fun of me. Why don't you just grow up? Not looking happy. Well, why should I be happy when you came here to put me in trouble? Of course not. Look, I wanted to explain some things to you. Look, I'm not interested in whatever you're going to say. Please just go. No, just take it easy, okay? Listen, just give me the opportunity to explain I'm things to, to you. Listen, I can't stand here and be listening to you. Just. Younger brother, and he's definitely going to tell my mom. God, you put me into serious trouble now. See what I told you. Please just go now, please. Look, look, I'll leave. Okay, I want to leave, but just, just tell me what I want to hear. Just go. Can't you understand? I'm in love with you. Oh, look, if you don't want to go, I'll just go and leave you here. Okay, all right, just go. Okay, I'll just wait here. Yes, I remain here. I don't care if your parents are tigers or lions. It's not a crime to fall in love with you, you know? Okay, just go. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. On my way back from work, I'll, I'll stop over and see you, okay? Just just go, please. Are you sure? I'll come. Are you sure? I'll, I'll come, I promise, I'll come. You promise? Look, if I don't see you, I'll not only come and pack here, I will go to your living room and sit with your dad. Eh? And even drink champagne with him. Okay, I'm, I'm, oh, I said I'm coming. Sure? I, I crossed my hands, I'll come. Good. Good now. You see you just dream about me, okay? I love you, baby. Uh of your parents. Am I? Mm-hmm. Shouldn't I be respectful to my parents? Mm, you should be. But what I see here is more of um, more fear than respect. Is there anything you're hiding from me? 
No. Why are you interrogating me like a police officer? I'm sorry. Okay? I'm really sorry. It's just that I want to know you better. Then take it easy. With time, you'll know me better. It's a matter of time, isn't it? You know, you're so young, yet you're so sound out there. Talk so, so much oddly. Thank you. Okay, well, I, I like to show you around the house. You know, show you around. <laughs> no. Maybe when next I come. I have to go now. So soon? Um, you barely touch your drink. Are you okay now? You could keep this one when next I come back. <laughs> okay. But I have to go now. Don't tell me you're still annoyed with me. I said I'm sorry. I came to apologize for everything that I have done wrong. Please. Darling, why are you behaving like this? You really want to know why I'm behaving like this? Yes. Tell me. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do just that. I said I'm sorry. I'm no longer interested in this stress. We call it a relationship. What did you just say? Anyway, I am sure that you are joking. I'm dead serious. It is over. Honey, what have I done to deserve such a rash decision from you? You can call it whatever you want. But my decision is final. Look, can't you just say it? We're, we're incompatible. Oh, did you just realize that now? <laughs> I am sure that you are joking. As far as I'm concerned, you are not serious. I'm yes. Look at oh, say it's over. It's over. Look, I was on my way out before you came. Okay. Did you just ask me to leave your place? Whatever, whatever you want to call it. Look, I can't leave my house for you when I'm gone out. Is that understood? Okay, I'll go. Let me tell you something. I am so sure that you will come back crawling and begging as usual. But then, you will pay for this humiliation. Don't you trust me again? I thought that you were ill and you went to the hospital. <sighs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So what's in the bag? Thank you very much. Um, who is Jane? I, I don't want her to know anything. Where is she? She went to eat. <laughs> what's in the bag? See, see what Daniel bought for me. Ha! Easy life. <laughs> Dan bought all this for you. I'm telling you. Oh my God. <laughs> hmm? I can't believe this. You see. See what you would have missed it. You are still behaving like virgin me. Abio. <laughs> He's taking me to test his fried chicken tomorrow. Oh no, close. Ha. That one is risky. 
You know that is a public place and you know your condition. I know now, but I can't disappoint him. See, we're just going to lick ice cream, that's all. I didn't say you were going somewhere else. Well, my own is make sure you bring ice cream for me. Come no problem. Tomorrow. See, I, you know, you know, I can't, I can't take these things to my house. Yeah. So just, just help me take them to your own house. And I'll, I'll get it when I need it. No problem. Please, I don't want anybody to. something about your bubble. That idiot. <laughs> Daniel has there seen someone else. It's a lie. Did you see them? A friend of mine told me that she saw him with one little dirty idiot last week in front of an eatery. <sighs> Are you saying he's planning to dump you? He said he's ending the relationship. Hey, you succeeded in driving him into one of these small girls' arm. My friend, stop that bullet and that attitude. Uh -uh. Stop it. Thank you, welcome. Thank you. Do you know what I promised myself? When I set my eyes on Daniel and that idiot, I will first of all strip her naked. Yes. Then I will feed her. Are you convulsing? What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, ma. She's not feeling well. Then let her take excuse and go home yes. and stop breaking my sister's things. Yes, As I was saying, my dear, Daniel thinks he can joke with me. I'm in a hurry. Yes. I attend to her, my friend. Yes, ma'am. As I was saying, Daniel thinks I'm one of those girls that he can take a ride with and then abandon later. I will tell him that I'm not one of them. No man can joke with me. I decide when I'm through with any relationship. Have I taken easy on my sister? It's okay. When is your sister coming back? She's the one I want to call right now. So I'll let her know that we're waiting. Okay. Hello. Mm, sister Carol, is me. Yes, Linda and I are waiting in the shop. Please, mm, come back. There's something very important I want to tell you. Okay. All right. Okay, bye. Hello, lover boy. So this is the bitch that you left me for. Okay. Am I dreaming or what? Oh God. So it's because of Nkem? Is it because of this idiot? This skunk? An apprentice in my sister's salon? It's because of this girl that you have been misbehaving. Daniel! My friend, listen, listen. You're harassing my girl. Okay? Enough. It's over between us. So stop following me around. You a bastard. Did you hear me? You are the greatest disappointment I've ever set my eyes on. Nonsense! Of all the girls in this town, Daniel, you decided to choose this refract. An apprentice in my sister's salon, Daniel! That is who my fancy wants to marry! You're a disgrace to manhood! Yeah, whatever, okay? But something you gotta know that she's my choice, okay? My choice, above all. She's far better than you in every aspect. I mean, Every aspect. So when I mean all aspects, you know what I mean. <laughs> just, you're just an empty vessel. Me? Yes. Maureen, an empty vessel. You will see who an empty vessel is. Listen, what? 
What? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Daniel, don't don't call me an empty vessel. What? You will see. What are you trying to do? If you don't get off my phone, what are you trying to do? See who an empty vessel. What are you trying to do? When I get there, I will deal with you. What are you trying to do? I will show you. What are you going to do? Daniel, what are you trying to do? Leave my way. Don't even try. I will deal with you in this town. Daniel, get off my phone. Don't every time, my friend. Don't try that on me. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Leave me, leave me, I will deal with you. I would I'm what? warning you, better stop. Daniel! Look, you're gonna see thunder this night. I will deal with Don't you try that. in this town. What are you trying to do? 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 I'm I warning my way. I'm warning you. Daniel, leave my way. Leave me! Listen, what are you me? Listen, you had your chance and you blew it. So please, stop this! You are an idiot! You have to move on I to your life. You. Get out of my sight! I'm not done with you yet! Daniel, I will deal with you. What? I will deal with you yes. in this town. You will regret ever setting your eyes on me. Thank you. Idiot. Thank you. Both of, after you, Ken, in fact, run away from this town. Yes. Because next time I set my eyes on you, I'll make sure I kill you. Uh. Nonsense. You are coming to the You don't know how you need the money. Nonsense. Because you are still liquid navigator. You want to come and enter? I will show you better in this town. Rubbish. Ah, Jesus. So that was what happened, sir. The first time I caught them, it was in front of the boutique. Yes. The next one, the supermarkets. Mm. Each time they were coming out carrying bags that I'm sure is worth only God knows how many thousands. Things that have never been bought for me before. Oh. You push, you please, one half for me. That I said she should leave my husband alone because yes. the next time I will see her, I will break both legs. Mm. I will kill her. Nelly, mm. you see what I've been telling you. I told you that this girl will put us into trouble one day, but you didn't believe me. Now see it! My dear, just let me be, woman. Let me be. <sighs> Young woman, are you sure of what you have just said? I said I saw her with my eyes, and I know her. Okay. I mean, if I don't, what would I be doing here? Coming to disturb the two of you? I even stopped my husband from following me to that salon because of the way she stares at him. Oh. Eh? Leave the work she's asked to do and start uh, chasing men. Eh? Married women, for that matter. Oh, <laughs> that is exactly why I am here. To beg you people to please help me plead with her. Mm. That I said she should leave my husband alone. Mm. I don't joke with him. Because I will not stop at anything to protect my husband. Husband is very scarce. She yes, should leave him alone for me. The next time I scratch her, I mean it. I will break both legs. Or if it's a seed, I'll pull her face. Yes. Then, if, not, if that will not, one day you will wake up and find that she has disappeared. Mm -hmm. Then she will leave him alone for me. Yes. Please, uh, young ladies, see, uh, I thank both of you for coming to inform us. You see, uh, other ladies, uh, would have harmed her without coming to tell us. But let me say this. I will make sure that she does not come anywhere near your husband. Please, uh, I will do that. You are better, sir. Yes, I will do that. I will do that. Please, my dear, we are very sorry for all that has happened. Eh? You may think it is her fault. No, it is not her fault. It is the fault of Archie. You may not understand me. Don't worry, everything will be all right. Your travel is over. We'll handle the matter here. All right, ma, we'll be leaving now. Um, uh, uh, before you leave, eh, I thank you, you ladies, for behaving very maturely and civilized. You see, uh, God will bless both of you, okay? Yes, yes. Ma, please, we'll be taking our leave. Thank you. Thank we didn't even offer you the cola. Nkem has not graduated to husband's matching. You see it? She is very lucky. They would have killed her before coming to tell us. What are we going to do now? Just, just look at you. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> so you don't want to tell me the truth? Eh? So why you left what I sent you to go and learn there 
and start chasing married men. I will, I will flog you to death. Look at her mouth. Husband snatcher. Beat her now, beat her. Leave her, leave her. She will tell me the truth. I don't know what they are talking about. I don't know. <laughs> Believe me, I don't know. So, so you want me to believe you? Eh? Yes. You want me to believe Why you? Why won't you believe her? She's Virgin Mary. Virgin Mary. <laughs> they are they're not married. Auntie Mowen is not married, even Auntie Linda. How can I? Liar! Liar! How can a beautiful lady like that not be married? There is nothing you do not do nowadays. You steal, you lie. You chase men around, including married men. Husband snatcher. Honey, beat her the more she will tell us the truth. Yeah. Let me do the beat. Just those who are not well. well. Let... So you don't want you don't want to tell me the truth, eh? And even if you kill me, I will not accept what I did not do. <laughs> Auntie Marin is not married, even Auntie Linda, they are not married. Uh, but why are they accusing you? What did you do know. today? No, I don't know. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I'm going upstairs now. See, if you don't tell me why you suddenly changed to a bad girl, when I come downstairs, okay, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. What do I say? Daddy. It's okay. I'm coming. I'm not, I'm, I'm not disappointed with you at all. I'm not disappointed. When I was telling you that she was trying to snatch you away from me, you thought I was mad. Now you see it. You are a professional <laughs> husband snatcher. Now listen to me. <laughs> Next time I see you anywhere near my husband, I will redesign this your ugly face with hot oil. I will redesign it. Husband snatcher. <laughs> 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 Dad, you just have to forgive her. I can see how also she is. Please do not allow a small quarrel like this to destroy all the love you share together. Hmm? Linda. Your friend and I are not compatible. I've been tolerating her attitude all this while. Now I'm fed up. Mm. Totally fed up. You're fed up? Because of that little rascal you're dating. That girl cleans my shoes. She is not your class. Dan, I still love you. Unfortunately, I don't love you anymore. As regards class, true love knows no class, tribe, age, or creed. I'd made up my mind to end this relationship long before I met Ken. So leave out of this. Dan, I want you to see how you can change your mind. Because Maureen still loves you, in spite of all... Listen, if I could, I would have. Live just for your sake. It's unfortunate my mind is made up. She's still young. There the are countless men out there she can choose from. So please, I just want to be left alone, okay? Well, I have an appointment to catch, so if you all excuse me. This was exactly what he did the last time I came here. Daniel, you want to walk out on us? Tell me the appointment that you have to catch at this time of the night. Who do you think you are? No, 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 leave me! Who exactly do you think you are? I'm asking you! You have an appointment. Dan, I'm hoping you can change your mind about this. Hmm? Please. Shall we? Let's go. Let's go. You are the only one that can get me out of this predicament. You know her mother is very harsh. And moreover, I don't know when I'll be chanced because I have... I thought uh, Kim was your best friend. So why didn't you just help her out? 
I'm sure she's also missing that. It is not that. See, she hasn't been coming to work since because her father traveled to the village and she has to take care of her younger ones, you know? Well, you've said that already. See, the truth is this. I'll be traveling abroad in a day or two. Really? Yes. I'll be away for about three weeks. I really want to see her. Please. Listen, um... Please. Take this for, for transport. No. You shouldn't give me money. No. <laughs> She's my best friend, remember? Thanks. I'm impressed. You're really, really her friend. Help me tell her that I'll be expecting her at 3 p.m. tomorrow. Okay. for you. It won't even be up to two, three minutes and you'll be back here. Nobody will know you went out. Yeah? You know Daniel is desperate to see you. Yes. Are you sure this will work? Eh? Who will I tell my mother if she comes back? Let's go first. We'll find something to tell her when we come back. If you, this is too risky now, this is risky. Do you want Daniel to leave without seeing you? <laughs> Remember, Daniel is going to spend more than three weeks abroad. Three weeks in camp, three weeks. Do you know I also want to see him? Eh? But you know my problem now. My father is sick upstairs. But my mother, she's my major problem. What, what, what will I do if she finds out? Let's go first. Let's go first. See, okay. I'll tell her that you escorted me to my house. Then I escorted you back. What makes you think she believe that kind of story? You do know my mother. She will be rich. Oh, she will never tell her. She's escorting me to my house, ma. She'll soon be back now. I, um, did she tell you that she was mad from going out of this compound? She did tell you? No. Come on, get back here. Hey, go in, go in. Are you? Go, come on. Hey, come back here. Come, 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 come back here. Come here. Go and open that gate for me. In fact, that is not your job. Get man. Uh, get woman. Yeah, go. Go. Go!
Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Yes. What do you want? I am looking for one Miss Inkem. Um, she lives here. Inkem? Who are you? My name is Daniel. Daniel? What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm an importer. Importer of girls? No. So you're one of the men that I was spoiling in camp? Mm -mm. Big fool like you. Don't you know your mates? How can you be moving around with small girls like that? It's not what you think, ma. Please, it's not what you think. I don't mean any harm here. I love Nkem very much and I've not seen her in a long time. I just want to make sure she's all right. That is why you have come to kidnap her. No, not at all. Just take it easy, ma. I don't mean any harm. Are you her mother? Question. I am sure you are one of these 419 people. Carrying big, big cars around, looking for small girls to spoil. Young man, if you don't leave this place this moment, I'm going to call the police. But it's not so, ma. I said leave! It's not what you think. 419. Who want look for your mates? Don't let me see you anywhere near this house again. You know it's not my fault. I also tried to see him. I, I did everything I could to see him. I know. Stop crying. Eh? Stop crying. He'll be back before you know it. Babe. One month is not just one day. How will I survive until he comes back? It's okay. Stop crying. Eh? Stop crying. Or do you want to fall ill? Stop crying. He'll soon be back. Stop crying, okay? Okay. I'll be visiting you always. Is that okay? <laughs> There's just two. Just. You know our madam and uh, Auntie Maureen quarreled yesterday. Why? It was because of Auntie Maureen's visit here. Our madam was complaining that she has warned her that if she doesn't keep her thing very well, that someone else will keep it well for her. If you see the shouting match, hey, it was cinema. <laughs> and you know, Madame is not married yet. I never knew. Why is she not married? She said that uh, she was behaving like Mori when she was young. And now she can't find husband. And that is why she's upset with Mori. Her younger sister is doing Look, this is not my problem. If you listen, you're telling me is not my problem. Tell me how. What am I going to do? I don't know if I can make time fly out. Why are you bothering yourself? Eh? That will soon come back. He'll soon be back. You won't even know how time flies. He'll soon come back. Give me that letter. Please, please. Because you keep staring at us. That will soon come back. Calm down. How can I take he'll my soon mind come off back. Him? No, he'll soon come back. Better? Mm -hmm. No, my, my daughter. I'm not feeling any better. Huh? Has, has your mother gone out? Um, yes, she just went out. I want to know what is wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with me, Daddy. Listen to me, my daughter. Uh, I've been watching you for some time. Hmm? And you 
You seem not to be happy. Eh? Um, uh, is it uh, because of uh, what is happening in the house? Eh? So sometimes you 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 become absent-minded. Eh? I'm your father. Tell me what is it? Eh? Tell me. Daddy, do you promise not to be upset if I if I tell you what is bothering me? Whatever, tell me. I will keep it there between us. Okay. Um. There was this. There was this man who says he loves me. And I've been, I've been seeing him for for some time now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you sure he he loves you? Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, is he uh, responsible? Yes, he does, Daddy. He always tries to make me happy, just like you. Mm -hmm. Um, so, what is the problem? Uh, he left you? No, Daddy. He, he did not leave me. He, he, he traveled and he said he's going to be back in a month's time. Why then are you over there? You, you wait for him. And um, he will come back. Hmm? Oh, have you slept with him? Hmm? No, Daddy. Mm. Daddy has never tried such a thing with me before. Mm. Daddy, I'm, I'm bothered because he, he came here to, to look for me and Mommy chased him away. Insulted and, and humiliated him. It's it's all right, my daughter. It's all right. Hmm? It's all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. If he, he really loves you, he will come back. Eh? No matter the insult he, he received. He will come. Um, but how did you meet this uh, this man? Um, I met him at the salon. He he's the same the same person Auntie from her claimed to be her husband. That is, they were just friends, and when she started treating him badly, he came to me. Mm. Daddy, she lied against me. Mm. Yes. Uh, anyway, anyway, um, I want you to be happy. Hmm? But uh, you should be very uh, uh, careful. Uh, so long uh, as you, you don't mess up. Yourself with that man, eh? uh, he will come back. He will okay, come back. Okay. Yeah, if if he really loves you, he will come back. Eh? He will. <coughs> water. Just hang on. Let me get you water. <coughs> Please, 
take care of my things and then go. Please. Why are you talking strangely, eh? Nothing will happen to you. Both of us will take care of the children. <coughs> 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 My, my strength, my strength, my strength is falling. No, my strength. Don't talk like is that. Eh? Please, make me, make me this last promise. Please, make me I will. I will. <coughs> you are tired. You are tired. You are tired. You are tired. No! Stay with me for some time before they go back. Okay, Mama. That kind of reminds me, Mama. I am thinking of living with can be right with you. I don't think I can cope with her upkeep, the way things are. No. Did you not tell me that she runs after married men in the city? Yes, Mama. I am too old to start chasing after the young girl whose eyes are on men and good things of life. Mama, it's just that my mega job cannot sustain the twins and I, let alone adding another person. So uh, now the money making factory in the village to take care of the kid. But Mama, she can help you in the farm work. Which farm? Which farm? No. I don't want where you married women will turn my house into a battlefield. Since you've been taking care of her, please take her away. I don't know how I'll do it because I, I don't think I can cook. This is the best place for her to stay. I don't know where else to take her before you people say I starve her to death. I don't know where else to keep her. I say no, I deserve Then she has to look for somewhere to stay. I don't know how to handle this issue. I thought she would have stayed here with you. You are alone here. Yeah? Apart from the... I don't know what to do.
Huh? Didn't you go with them? Go with who? Your mom packed this morning. Don't tell me you didn't know. Where did she pack? I don't know. She, she only said they were leaving Lagos. Leaving Lagos for where now? You mean that there's nobody in this house? There's nobody in the house. You can see the gate is locked. So, what about the twins? The twins, they all packed everybody. Hey. Okay, is there anything the matter? Hey, God, I'm finished. Talk to me, is there anything the matter? What did it happen? You can talk to me. Oh, God. What is wrong? What do I do? <laughs> what is the matter? I'm talking, I'm talking. <laughs> oh, God. Calm down. Calm down. You have been okay. abandoned. How? I don't understand. I went to my house. I yeah. saw my bag outside. They never told me that my mother has moved out of the house with my younger ones. <laughs> I don't know where else to go. From here, I don't know. <laughs> How could your mom be that wicked? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> where will I go to? <laughs> If you were my creature, what have I done now? Hey, calm down. It's okay. <laughs> what do we do now? <laughs> what do we do now? Hey, I don't know. Tell me what to do. I'm just confused. I don't have anywhere to go to. If only Daniel was back. Yeah? If only Daniel was back. He said he was only going to spend three weeks abroad. No, oh, he's getting more than a month. Now, I would have asked you to spend the night here, but you know, I'm, all, I'm already in my sister-in-law's black book, and she won't hear of that at all. If you ever like go to now, where else will I go to? I don't have anywhere to go to. What will I do? Okay, it's okay, it's okay. See, eh? Uh, let me take you to our parish priest. He'll allow you to spend the night there. But I'm not a Catholic now. It doesn't matter. He has helped other people with similar problems. Eh? Okay. But let me finish what I'm doing. I would like one of you to volunteer to take her in as your daughter. Please do not turn your back on this innocent soul. We all know the danger she's been exposed to if left alone out there. Father, I will take her. That's very good. So, what do you do for you? I, I run a restaurant. You run a restaurant? Yes, Father. I'm afraid you can't have her. I really need someone whose line of business will not expose her to the enticement of men. Father, I would have loved to take her, but I'm a widow, surviving only at the mercy of my elder sister. Honestly, Father, it has not been easy with me since I lost my husband. You see, I know you all are weakness. That's why I specifically sent for the five of you. You don't have to worry about her feeding, 
or our upkeep. The Lord will take care of that. Remember, the Bible enjoins us to be our brother's keepers. And whatever we do to the least to our brethren, we do the same to God. We all want God to do something for us, don't we? Fine. So how many of us have ever thought of doing something for God? So you see, who came here is God's request from us. Please forgive my disobedience. Sister Uche, it's not time yet for confession. Our confession is on Friday. I know, Father. But that's not what I'm talking about. I am here in respect of that girl. Which girl did I ask? The orphan. Oh, her name is in Kev. Yes, Father. You see, I couldn't sleep last night. Each time I remembered what you told us uh, about her plight, I was disturbed. So I've decided to take her home so that she can stay with me. Oh, I see. That's very good of you. Um, are you sure you really want to do this? Yes, Father. I'm ready to do it. That's very good. God bless you. Yeah. You see, um, currently she's with one of our parishioners. Okay. Just go out there, the cactus will take you to where she is. Okay. Just by the Yes, minutes. exactly. In spite of my objection, you still went ahead and brought that girl in. Do I look like a father Christmas to you? No, sister. I'm sorry. It's just that I, I couldn't bear to ignore her plight. Remember what the Bible tells us? As good Christians, we should learn to bear one another's burden. See who is talking? Have you finished bearing your body? <laughs> anyway, I don't blame you because the body is not on your head. I expect you to have pity on me for carrying you and your son's body all alone. Sister, that girl has no other place to stay. It's none of my business. You have three days to send that girl back to wherever you brought her. Else I will wash my hands off anything that concerns you. Kill myself trying to sustain you, only for you to continue a dead bite on me because of your foolishness. I'm sorry, sister. I can't send her away. My conscience won't allow me to do that. Please, I'm begging you. Be ready to carry your body and your conscience alone. Don't you ever come to me for any assistance. Nonsense. Auntie. Who is that? Hey, hey, Auntie. Auntie. What is all this? Auntie, it's the Reverend Father that gave them to me now. See what he gave to me. This big tin of milk. Jesus Christ. You see this big, big tin of milk. He even gave us God. No, he all this for us. Auntie, Auntie. Hey, Auntie. Hey, he said that if we need anything food, anything we can, we should come straight to the parish. I'm telling you. Are you sure all these are for us? Yes, ma'am. Hey, this code is good. Eh? I'm telling you. Okay. Do you see that this is God walking in a mysterious way? Shebi, just when I thought we were finished. See how he has opened another door for us. I nearly forgot. See. See what the Reverend Father gave to us. 5,000 naira. He said if you need to buy anything, maybe like baggies or all those things, you should just use it. But if you need anything, you should come straight to the parish. I should take it. He said I should give it to you. And see, God is good. God is good. How? <laughs> Let me go and keep this sauce in the kitchen. How? Who said God is not good? And see, God is good. How? Chineke demma, apala chineke demma, ubochita. Oh, never on me, him, Nacho. Oh, been delayed. A Jew put out on a glory. A thank you, babe. Oh, to a condemn and your honorania. A thank you, babe. Oh, to a condemn and your honorania. A thank you, babe. Oh, to a condemn and your honorania. Oh, yes, so praise the Lord. Just a minute. If he's coming, I'm not looking 
What's the problem? Okay, I got it. What's the problem? I will tell you. Okay. Okay. If you talk now, what is it now? What's the problem? You know Linda, Auntie Maureen's friend. Mm -hmm. She came by the salon today as she was talking with our madam. I heard her saying that. Say that what now? What is it? Talk to me. But. Daniel died in a plane crash on his way back. Who is that? Uh, 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 if you didn't do well, you should have told me first. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Okay, this is Brother Matthew. He's the one I told you about yesterday. He's a senior civil servant. Um, but, um, Father, I... Uh, listen, Kim. I know that you'll be surprised why I, I came through the grandfather. It's because of the respect and the love I have for you. In fact, I've been watching you for a long time now. I'm impressed by your conduct. In fact, I want you to know that I don't have any immoral thought for you at all. If you marry me, I'll take good care of you. I promise. Okay, I've always taken you as my daughter. And I will not let anything to harm you. All right. So, what do you think? Um, um, Father, I please give me some time to think about it, please. It's okay. So, just go and make your decision, and just let me know. Okay, Father. Um, please, can I go now? Yes, we can. Thank you very much, Father. God bless. Thank you, Father. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. So you see, um, I just want us to leave everything to God. He's going to sort us out, okay? Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. Please, I'm looking for Nkem. Nkem. Are you sure you are the right place? Yes. I've been here so many times. 
Who's he looking for? He says he's looking for Nkem. Nkem? You don't have anybody like Nkem here. No, she lives here. I've been here so many times. He just bought this house two months ago. You saying... You're the only people that live here? Please, the former occupants, do you know where they parked to? Thank you very much. Daniel, what is it? Informer, what is it? Informer, what's the matter? What's the matter? Why are you running? What is it? Uh, are you not the ghost? What are you talking about? What? I'm alive. No, come and touch me. We heard you died in a plane crash long time ago. No, you are here. Well, it is false rumor. Okay? Yes, I was involved in a plane crash. But by the special grace of God, I survived it. In fact, two of us survived the plane crash. And we've been receiving a treatment in one remote um, island for about six months now. And that's why I've not communicated with any of you. It's me. I'm alive. You can come and touch me. It's me, Daniel. Where are you? Yes. <laughs> Where are you? Yes. You're alive. Yes, I'm hey. alive. Please. Thank God. Thanks. Please, Ifoma. Where's in came? I was at her place and I was told they parked out. Where uh, is she? I'll take you to her place. Please, let's go. You are real. <laughs> Please, let's go. She'll be very happy. I'm just an orphan that was adopted by that couple. Daniel, I went through hell in the hands of that woman. Why would you have to go through hell simply because you're an adopted child? If you had told me, I would have taken you away from that place a long time ago. My daddy loved me so much. Besides, I was scared you would you would reject me. Reject you? Mm -hmm. Never. My dear, I don't care who your parents are. All that matters to me is that I love you. And you love me too. Even stronger now that I know you. You got sent to me. Thank you too.
Mm -hmm. I have to go see the Reverend Father to thank him for all the good things he's done for me. I mean, for us. <laughs> for taking care of my, my angel. Thank you. I also thank um, Mrs. Uche. Mrs. Uche, if not for her, I, I don't know where I would have been. Don't worry, I'll take good care of her. I'm going to thank her in a very special way. One more thing. Yeah? The Reverend Father introduced someone to me. Um, the person's name is Matthew. He says he wants to marry me. <laughs> marry you? Okay, all right. That's husband number two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, baby. Oh. Look all right. It's a long, sad story. I've been looking for you everywhere since. Why? To apologize for the way I maltreated you. My God. Who impregnated you? Oh my God. See now. Eh? When I was warning you against men, you didn't want to listen. Anyway, it's all my fault. If I had taken you to Kano, all this wouldn't have happened. Where are you going now? I'm just taking a walk. You look so haggard. What's the problem? My daughter, it's a long story. Since that time I left you, I've been moving from one misfortune to another. Chidi, my son died last month. What? To Chidi. That is just one of the misfortunes. Then I had to see one powerful man of God who now traced my misfortune to the way I maltreated you. That is why I've been looking for you everywhere to apologize and correct my mistakes. This world is really full of mysteries. Listen, my daughter, I have a one bedroom self contained apartment somewhere in the town. Go and pack your things. I want to take you there so I can take good care of you. I want to atone for my sins. You can see you need to be taken care of. Really? Yes, let me take care of you, please. Don't say no. Okay. No. Shh. to know people living in this kind of house. I told you I wanted to check on someone, didn't I? Let's go. She might be alone again. She she Don't worry. Let's go. Is it 
<laughs> no, she was greeting you. Or do I look like a madam? Sit down. <sighs> Sit down? I thought you said you came to see someone. It doesn't matter, just sit down. She's my mother. Hello, darling. Yes, could you please come downstairs? That's a very important visitor you need to see. Oh. Is this your house? By the grace of God, it is my house. You know, after all I went through in your hands, this is where it finally landed me. You know, mommy, they say that the only permanent thing in life is change. My life has changed, and so has yours. Mommy. <laughs> I have called you mommy for more than four times now and you haven't yelled at me to stop calling you mommy. Why? I'm sorry. Please. Please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive you? I knelt down in those days begging you to forgive me. Begging you for compassion. Did you listen to me? No. You never listened to me. Look, I, I don't know. You're begging this issue. Listen, I don't know what you want from my wife. You and her don't have anything in common anymore. Listen, you severed all ties with her the day you abandoned her in that house. Now leave my house. Leave my house this moment. Leave my house this moment! Do you want me to call, you want me to call the police? Leave my house! You made her miserable in those days. Now you can't take her happiness away from her. Can't you see she's pregnant? Leave! Mommy. What? Sweetie, please. She's still my mother. You see, she's been through a lot of stress lately. My only brother just died. Let's not judge her. Vengeance is of the Lord, remember. Let's forgive. Please. Please. Thank you. Mommy, come. Um, let her have a bath, give her a change of clothes, and get her something to eat. But she was found just when it seemed. 